We are a, a small, agile conservation entity focused in Savo, working alongside the Kenya Wildlife Service and uh, various community conservancies. One of our main uh, and core projects is the Big Tusker project. We have a stewardship program of community conservancies uh, that border onto the protected areas. A lot of the activities that we uh, carry out alongside the Kenya Wildlife Service in the Savo areas uh, and alongside the community conservancies that we work with is the traditional boots on the ground uh, anti-poaching activities. To me, that is the most important aspect. And this has been severely affected by COVID, um, simply because uh, from the Savo Trust perspective, we've lost revenues between 30 and 40%. Uh, we are heavily, heavily reliant on uh, donor support. Um, and that comes from either governmental support, uh, uh, conservation organizations and foundations, um, uh, like-minded individuals that, that want to help. And I must be honest, you know, uh, our, our main supporters by a long way come from the United States. They seem to understand the environment uh, is, is in trouble and they want to help and they have helped. So in the first six months of 2020, we've noticed a spike in bushmeat poaching at least fivefold. With concern to elephant poaching, although we haven't seen a spike uh, in recent months, um, our informer uh, networks are all pointing a finger that there is an increasing demand. You know, obviously people are, are more and more desperate. The Kenya Wildlife Service, who, who is our main strategic partner, their main income stream was through tourism. Tourism has collapsed. The knock-on effect to that is the main revenue to the governing wildlife body in the country has also taken a massive hit. And so they are in turn are leaning heavier and heavier on their conservation partners. Um, all at a time when we too are, are uh, really struggling with this burden. It, it's, it's as plain and simple as that. We've reduced salaries across the board rather than lay people off, uh, given that the majority of our, our scouts are from the local areas that border the, the parks um, and come from the communities. We've, we've taken the route of reduced salaries by 30 to 40. In fact, it's more like 50% in many cases. Uh, but by and large, we're still, we are still continuing. Um, we are being lent on by the conservancies and, and the Kenya Wildlife Service. But that's what we do. That's, that's what our, our mandate is. And so we've got to get the funds in to keep the salaries and the, the fuel in the vehicles and fuel in the airplane. It's as simple as that.